Today I'm reviewing the Aero Swipe Pickleball Paddle from Kasaka Sports. They were kind enough to send this to me along with two other ones, and I greatly appreciate that. So I'll talk about the specifications of this paddle, and then I'll get into my thoughts on how it plays and some overall thoughts on it. So the paddle face is made of T700 woven carbon fiber. The core is a polypropylene honeycomb core. Paddle length is 16 and 5 16 and the width is 7 and 5 8 It's a 13 millimeter paddle. Uh, the paddle weight is 8 ounces. I think this comes in, this one came in at 8.1 ounces, so a little bit heavier. The grip length is 5 and 1 8 and the grip size is 4 and a half inches, or the circumference is 4 and a half inches. Okay, so the Aero Swipe fits in a category that I call leisure sports, but they have gone through the process of getting the paddle USAPA approved, which is going to be a bonus. It means that it has met certain specifications and this can be used in sanctioned tournament play. A lot of the leisure sport companies don't do that. Kasaka has chosen to do that and they get a thumbs up uh, for that as far as I'm concerned. So let's talk about some things that I didn't like about the paddle and then we'll end on a positive note. So first off, this handle, the circumference is just too small. It just feels way too small in my hand. So if you're someone who has smaller hands, this might be a paddle that you will want to choose because of the size of the paddle. Uh, second of all, I've never really liked this ribbed design. Uh, a lot of companies call this a comfort design, but I don't find it comfortable at all. An overgrip will fix that, obviously, but I like to play with the paddle as it comes out of the box. I don't like to add any weight or overgrips to it when I'm reviewing it. Second of all, although this one is not showing very many signs of wear because it hasn't been played with as much, I suspect it is going to have the same durability issue that the rapid fire is going to have in that the uh, coloring and the surface is going to wear off pretty quickly. Again, this hasn't been played with as much, so I'm not necessarily sure, I'm not 100% sure that that's going to be the case, but these all do seem to have a similar design and similar feel when it comes to build quality, and so that, that's a concern for me. All right, so this is an elongated paddle, so that's going to make it feel head heavy. So if you are someone who wants to crush balls, this is probably a good option for you. Um, typically, head-heavy paddles will give you more power in your swing. Um, this isn't overly heavy. I think it was 8.1 ounces or 8 ounces or something like that. It was pretty close to what it said on the box. So that's good as well. Uh, the, the handle is not quite long enough for a two-handed backhand. I think that's okay with an elongated paddle. Um, the swing weight feels, even though it's head a little head heavy, it doesn't feel particularly slow. It's not a fast paddle. I wouldn't classify it as a fast paddle like the gearboxes, but it's also not slow despite it being head heavy. Um, again, and also a lot like the rapid fire, I don't feel like I have as much touch and control with this paddle as I have with similar 13 millimeter paddles like a gearbox. This paddle is in the $50 to $60 range, so if you're looking to try out a thin, edgeless pickleball paddle that's got a carbon fiber surface, this is a good option for you to upgrade from one of the uh, beginner paddles that you may have picked up. Again, you're not going to have the touch and control as you would with a more expensive paddle. There are compromises that are going to be made. Um, you may feel like the paddle is vibrating a little bit um, if, if you slam the balls. This one did feel a little buzzy in my hand, but not too much. Um, overall, I think it's a great paddle if you're a beginner player who's moving up and looking for a thinner faster paddle than something you would get off of Amazon. Uh, if you're looking to make a huge investment in a paddle uh, and you just want to try out this style of paddle, this is a good one to go with. So that's the Kasaka Sports Aero Swipe Pickleball Paddle. You can get it over at Amazon. There's a link in the description below where you can check that out. 
And um, just as a, a something else, if you want to help uh, support this channel in, in any other way besides clicking on affiliate links, you can go uh, to the Buy Me a Coffee link down in the description below as well. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll come along with the third paddle that I received from Kasaka Sports here uh, in another day or two. All right. Bye.